Hi, this is Fred, FR5ED. Five is silent. Here with a beer review. Uh, this is something very brand new for me as far as a category. Um, I'm not even sure what the category is. It's smoked. It's a Doppelbach. Uh, and I'm going to try to pronounce this name. It's from Germany. It's Echt, A E C H T, Echt, Schlenkerle Eich Doppelbach. And that's the last time I'm going to say it. Um, it's rated a 99 overall and a 99 in style on rate beer, and that's after 483 reviews. And then it's rated a 91 on Beer Advocate after 251 reviews. Uh, it is 8% ABV. It is 40 IBUs. The commercial description reads thusly. While for the classic, I said I wasn't going to say it again, Eicht Schlankerla Rachbeer, traditionally, Beach has been and still is used. Beach, I guess the beech wood. Uh, the malt for this beer is kilned with oak wood. The resulting oak smoke malt has a smoother and more multi-layered smoky note than the intensely aromatic beech smoke malt. Anyway, the complex smokiness in this is paired with the multifaceted bitterness of the holler. This is a uh, holler tau holler tau aroma hops with 8% ABV and amber color, matures for months in the deep brewery cellars underneath the Bamberg, underneath the Bamberg, to a special treat for smoke beer lovers. Well, gonna have to try out a smoke beer. So let's give it a try. Get my, uh, my uh, bottle open here. I'm not gonna use the one off my foot. I've been outside. Just don't wanna put something like that on my, my beer. Anyway, got it open. Let's give it a pour. It's going to be very interesting and very different for me. All right, that's good. That's good. I think that's a 22 ounce, perhaps. Anyway, it's uh, very clear, and it's a brownish orange, brownish amber, a little darker than most of the IPAs I'm used to, and the head was not very dense at all. It's uh, it's loose and dissipating, although it didn't look like it was under carbonated. But let's give it a smell. Oh my gosh, I smell smoke. Almost a bacon smoke. Oh, it's too soon to say I'm in love, but it's a wonderful smell. Not something I'd expect to smell from a beer. Very smoky, smoky, uh, almost uh, meat, smoked meat. Well, I said bacon. It does have a smoked meat smell. I want to give it a taste. That's the most unexpected taste. It's like drinking bacon and and smoky wood. <laughs> Let me try that again. I mean, the taste left in my mouth is almost as if I just finished a slice of bacon. It's not a bacon. There's I don't believe there's any bacon essence in this. I mean, I've heard of bacon beers, people you know doing that, but I haven't had one. This is a very smoky, smoky. That is so different. It's it's like shifting gear so fast to go from having a palate that's used to almost nothing but uh, uh, you know IPAs and the occasional porter or stout. This is so different. I, I can't jump up and down and say I love it. I, this is going to take some time to let it soak in. The aftertaste. I'm used to hop bitterness for an aftertaste. This is smoke. It's truly smoke. Mmm. I mean, it's a wonderful aftertaste. <laughs> I'm still getting used to how it tastes with the beer. Okay. It's about the third or fourth sip. Now my mouth's getting used to it. Now, now I can see where this would be enjoyable to sit back and sip on it. It was a shock at first. <laughs> now it's getting comfortable. Mmm. Very interesting. I, it, I don't see myself reaching for this on a regular or even a frequent basis. But for something different, to spice things up, so to speak, I, I, would, I would get that again. I highly recommend if you've never had a smoke beer, which I haven't, I don't know what the others are like, 
but this certainly seems to be a good representation. Here's the bottle, if I didn't show that to you before. Um, and again, I don't have a clue how to pronounce it. Ect. And you pronounce it however you want to, but that's what it looks like. This is Fred, FR5ED, over and out.